My name is Joseph Panakowski, and this is my last lesson for this semester. So today we're going to do, our focus is STEM and your future. We're going to do a warm up, we're going to do listening, we're going to do our reading, we're going to do some pronunciation practice, we're going to do a game, and um, advice. All right, so first is our warm up. My question, first of all, what's STEM? What is STEM? What does STEM stand for? What, 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 what? Oh, go. Uh, science. Science. Technology. Technology. Engineering. Engineering. Mathematics. Mathematics or math, exactly, yeah. So, what I want to do is, with your partner, I want you to ask these questions. Ask these questions. Is, why did you choose to study STEM? Why STEM? That's my question. All right, so take two minutes, two and a half minutes, and in your part, with your partner, with your partner, take two minutes and talk about STEM and your major. All right. Yin's gonna volunteer again. Which is STEM is pretty good and is uh, strict with the specific statement and, and yes and he has some uh, has um, more like some idea and advanced advanced all right so the advanced ideas and very strict studying yes yeah yes, appreciates mm. okay who decided a long time ago in high school or in middle school or earlier a long, long ago? Toga decided to study biology when he was, when when she she was, was in middle school. Pre-listening, Q&A, Q&A. First of all, what is the meaning of the word ideal? <laughs> what, what? Favorable. Favorable, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so, okay. So the question is, what is your ideal job? I have uh, mathematics and uh, uh, since I was in, uh, in high school, I, I want to get a job in a financial company because uh, it's a, I think it's, a, it's the best way to use my mathematical skills. So it, it's a good fit. Yeah, good yes. fit. Good fit. I love your shirt. It says blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Same question, Bob. If you could do anything, what would you do? Maybe direct uh, an opera. Correct, an opera. Nice, why? Well, I love it. Nice, good for you, good for you. So we're gonna do a little listening. Uh, take two minutes and skim the listening. Take a moment and just read the uh, part one, two, and three. If you don't understand a particular word, that's okay. In the context of the sentence, in the context of the paragraph, Hopefully you will understand the meaning of the word. Okay? So we're gonna listen to Oscar. We're gonna hear it two times, and you wanna listen to it and you're gonna do the uh, parts one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Right now I work uh, as an IT professional, which means that I fix computers when they don't work and, and I go out and, and talk to a lot of people about what they need to do with their computers. Who can answer? Part A, number one. Part A, number one. Toba, can you please read Oscar is from and then start with number one? Yeah. Oscar is from Sweden. He lives in London now. In this recording, he talks about where he would like to live and what he would like to do in the future. Oh, no. All right. Reading comprehension. All right. So, it's our third time, our third time doing uh, some reading comprehension this semester, I think. So, comprehension involves the components of vocabulary knowledge, grammar knowledge, world knowledge, short-term memory, and inferential knowledge, which is basic reasoning and logic. Bonus question, how many vocabulary words did we study this semester? I will ask that question again for a bonus point. <laughs> Oh, how many of them is there? Yeah, wait a minute. Exactly, exactly. On the rate build up reading, 
right? We were drawing these articles about STEM. And you know what? Your midterm is about STEM. Your midterm, your final is about STEM too, right? Today's topic is about STEM. All in preparation of your final, which is in two weeks. So, as we did before, we're going to read with a timer. You're going to read and you're going to start from the first word in the first sentence. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Start from there. I'm going to put the timer on. You'll read for one minute and then stop. And then mark number one where you stop. Okay? Three, two, one, go. All right, think. Put a number one. Number one, near where you stopped, turn to your partner and talk for about one minute about one thing that you liked. Okay? Talk for about one minute about one thing that you liked. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we're going to do it one more time. And of course, as you reread, you will see your eyes gliding and less reading to enable you to read faster. Okay? We're going to do it one more time. All right, three, two, one, go. Dink. All right. Mark number three. Mark number three on your paper. Question. Uh, Bill. Question. What are the main points? Number nine. What are the main points of this article? About the STEM education. Yeah. To allow our children to the children. Okay. And so what we talked about STEM education and children. What's it saying? Uh, they say first STEM is important and uh, STEM uh, STEM is important and STEM effects close and dearest to our children. Uh, what STEM affect us the most uh, uh, the close and dearest is our children. Okay, so you're saying there's a relation between STEM and education in our children. Yes. All right. Now, write number four on your paper in the area in which you want the goal to be. Where is your goal? Where realistically is your goal? Realistically, where do you want to be? Don't worry where your friends are reading. This is your second language. Second language reading is difficult. So pay no attention to what your friend or your partner is doing. Doesn't matter, okay? Here we go, last time, three, two, one. All right, who is doing stretching today? John, is standing with my standing. Good, nice, good, good, good. For 10 times, one. Oh, one, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. And change your hands. Of course. Three, two, one. Oh, nice job. Now we're going to do a story, then we're going to break. Give me a story, someone give me a story. There we go, sunshine. One day, Joseph is traveling by the train from blah blah to blah blah, blah. and uh, he he want to go to the bathroom <laughs> for some I don't know if it was However, the train is too old. <laughs> so there's no bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> And Joseph begs the driver of the trip. Oh! Please! Stop the trip! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the driver. Mm. He said, okay. Okay, okay. I'll okay. wait for you. <laughs> During the break, I need, I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer for a break. Or two volunteers. From next semester, during the break, one volunteer or two volunteers will research 
about a country, and I'm calling it global culture. That person will research during the break, come up here, and briefly talk about the country. Anything, the aspects of the culture, population, pol political history, religion, food, anything's okay. Because we're talking about STEM today, the topic of STEM, the country I chose is India. India is the second the most, uh, uh, India has the, has the second the most uh, uh, population in the world. As we all know, we all know that Bitcoin is the first. Bitcoin is the first. And India has more than 30 official languages, including English, including the budget. All right, pronunciation practice. Toba, if you don't mind. Oh. Okay, now. Your presentations last week were very good, for the most part. There were about 25 words, which I thought were very difficult to understand. So I made a list of terms that were difficult for me to understand, but in context, I understood them. So take a moment in your, in your group. Any word that you don't know the meaning of, write the meaning. Take about two minutes and do it as a group, as a group. For number one, I will read and you read and follow me. Number one is algorithm. 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 Two, economics. 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 Three, economical. Economical. All right, uh, time. English skills all under. A simple and easy way to boost your writing level is to use these. Sunshine. Transition words. What are you talking Good job, nice job. Essay writing. Uh, Essay writing. 300. 300. It states the main points of the essay, the last sentence in the introduction. Charles. I want to see the Oh, thank you, nice job, nice job. Who is your favorite? American modern poet. Sleep. The jokes of Patrick. No! Three, two, one. Charles. Charles. My advice to you for the future it simply says work hard with an arrow going one way to play hard, which means your job here is to study. Simple as that. Um, let's all come here. Come here. Make an area right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to hop in over by Koba. Three, two, one. Cheese. <laughs> I think so. Yes, there's some openings. There's random openings. Random openings.